Hello everybody, <laughs> welcome back to the Katano Arcade. Today we are back with uh, more Kinseed. <laughs> As I did the intro, let me tab into my Trello board to look at the uh, the guide stuff. Um, quick thank you to Lexiville for the comment on the last part. Um, a, it's good to know that <laughs> the series is actually, you know, somewhat enjoyable. Um, but also about the dandelion thing. It's just like, it's a reverse clock, so it's, it's a little weird. Um, Anyway, today we have a pretty simple mission. I just want to make sure I was on the right track. I'm going to take off my glasses. I don't need those right now. Meet Twig. Um, why is this purple? <sighs> Not to be mistaken for Phil the Trough. These are growing on me. These like, these weird <laughs> little punny jokes. Um, all right, let's do this. Set active. Dreamer's Nook. M is map. Yes. Oh, top right. Okay, awesome. Oh, you need a sickle to harvest wheat or cut through long grass. Our old sickle rusts, so we need a new one. Jeremy's irons in the village should be able to help. Okay, I think, I don't know. There was a part of me that was like, that walked into this game and I was like, all right, I'm going to need to be farming. Like Stardew Valley. Um, do I not know you? I thought I knew you. Yeah. Uh, I can't. Real parents, I can't remember them at all. Do you think they were too poor to feed us? Did they die fighting monsters? Were we bad children? Oh God, the deep-seated problem there. I mean, I guess I literally am doing that right now with picking the apples and whatnot, but yeah, anyway, um, a good game can be judged by its ability to fish <laughs> in mini games. So we'll do that. Um, Stardew Valley's fishing was really fun. Uh, do I have, no. Oh, I should have gotten the pig. Isn't there a way to summon the... <laughs> that is... So convenient. Actually, hold on. Let me let me give you some little, little apple here, buddy. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, yeah. So... Dreamer's Nook. Um, can't go in there. Nice. Wait, no. Stop. Uh, oh, that's okay, because I have something in my bucket to right-click his container release. Wow, I'm smart. <laughs> you don't see that every day. <laughs> oh, what, man riding a pig? Do you have a problem with a man riding a pig? Holding a blueberry? <laughs> uh, I just moved into a new place, and I feel so weird doing voices. Nobody can hear me. <laughs> But still, hello, hello, you got me a letter. Name's Twig, but you can call me Twig. Not sure why I got that name, probably because I'm so smart and I can twig things right away. I can twig things? A little help ready, of course, our dream pal, you know. He can do marvelous things. Wouldn't have made it to Master Fisherman without his help. You know who I'm talking about, right? Mr. Fairweather, he's got big plans for you. That's why you and me have got to stick together. First off, I'm gonna teach you one of me fishing tricks. Just show me you can catch a common as muck pod lurk with this old rod. Won't have no trouble finding a pond with a few swimming about. Try straight down that way. Good luck. I, the voice just slowly changed a point more over time. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm never gonna get used to that. I just, with like recording Pokemon videos and stuff, it was always... Uh, oh, right, equipment tab. Um... Yeah, I don't think I need the bucket. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, whoa, what? I can't tell if that was an animation or like a loading bar or something. Um, can I move while I fish? Oh, God. Okay, so this is that kind of fishing then. What am I looking? I mean, I'm guessing there's... How do I fish? Oh, I see, there's a black line. Okay. Um, I'll wait for it to curve, I suppose. Dude, Twig is kind of a cool setup. If I didn't have anywhere to be or anything to do, I would do this tree host kind of thing. Okay, hold on. Where did he, what was he? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Okay, I did not mean to do that. 
Um, okay, so I'll, I'll go find a pond in a minute. I'll go get, let's go get the sickle. Come here, piggy. Um, ooh, I missed this. The Right Angle by Rod Puller. Ah, here we go. Fishing is a science, except science does not exist anymore. <sighs> Off to a banger. So fishing is not like a science at all, but just cast your rod and try to hit the shadows with your hook. If you miss, a little rippling action might persuade one to come a nibbling, but don't ripple when one is near or you will scare them away. Some advanced fishermen know a few tricks that can make you a wizard, except wizards do not exist, and I simply made that word up as it sounded magical. Right. And lastly, don't forget to adhere to the proverbs. Some fish like rain, some moonlight, some summer, and some even like loot music. Oh, that's good to know. I hope these tips were helpful. I don't like fishing myself, I just like writing tip books about fishing. Carpe diem, break kind of the Doctor Who fishes, because it's carp, carpe diem. Nice. With forward by Patrick Troughton. Sharks, just what are they, and what is the sea? Five star fish, quality or quantity? Okay, so that literally explained how to fish. Um, pepper, okay. So I want to aim for the shadows? Is that, is that the idea? Nope, too far. Okay, so if I shoot this way... Yoik! God, that comes in fast. There we go. So... Okay, I'm seeing what I think are little fish thingies. It's like not the ripples, but the little. Almost like someone's dropping a rock in. But it moves so far. Like I tap the right mass and it moves so far, so fast. I just don't know what I'm looking for. Because, again, there's no like feedback for this. Can I even fish here? Um. Hmm. What do you say? Twigs torn out diary note. It's happening. It's happening. Tonight's the night. Uh, Mr. F said we should meet. Oh. All the dreams that it would turn out. And I believe in fishermen. Okay. He's a fell fay. Uh, twig ain't a... Mm -hmm. Oh. Got the key and land. So I might need a key to enter mines. Oh, my mind is in a weird place right now. Anyway, okay. I can't interact with that. Um, first things first, let's go ahead and start riding the pig and get that sickle before I pass out again. Um, <laughs> let's get a dandelion too. So, how this... Oh, is the day already over? <laughs> I thought I knew how this worked. Frick. Oh, there's a literal fish. Oh my god, I just couldn't fish up there. Come get me, Nib. No? You gonna go for it, buddy? Oh, how rude. How rude. Uh, oh, I think it's just a lack of music, is why I feel so strange. Anyway, um... What did I... Did I just... I can't tell if I... It would surely tell me if I caught a fish or not, right? I heard a ding, but I don't... <laughs> I don't understand. We'll come back in a minute. We'll get the sickle. Oh, never mind. The dandelion just refilled. See, that's what I don't get about it. How did it just magically refill? Like... It's it, it's like the, the the most recent one or whatever to disappear is what time it is. So like if the one at the one o'clock disappears and it's one o'clock. Oh, because it hit the afternoon mark. Oh my god, I, I make sense now. Because there's two twelve o'clocks. Good God! All right, we got it. We're we're cruising. All right. Um, yeah. Let's go get that sickle. Um, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> it's fine. No. Any way is the right way, as long as you're going some way. Some motivational quote. I don't know. Could be. 
the only wrong direction is no direction at all. Wait, so if I pick up a dandelion, it won't refill, right? Okay, good. I just have tons of dandelions now. Maybe I can like use them. Like if tomorrow comes, right? Maybe I can take a dandelion from my inventory and activate it or whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this now. So, so something's still weird about the objective. It's like, it's, it's too loose almost. Like there's no, I don't know. I, I, I think it's good. Hello there, hello. Lucy Arrows, introduce. Maybe you're not gonna sass me this time. Bill's new wards and everyone's more than a bit curious about you. Me, I'm curious about everything, especially the past. As the Vale's resident historian, I'm always on the lookout for relics and historic documents. Good, feeling better now, thank How kind. Give info about item. Siege Gale here for rating one. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't think this is supposed to make it to the final version. Who is this, Lucy Arrows? Wasn't there like a submit bug? All right, well, I'll screenshot that and send it in the Discord. Um, cause I, I, I don't, I don't, I just, I just don't think that's what was supposed to happen. Um, Frick, okay. Hang on, uh, Q for quests, no. Frick, C for calendar. Get a signal from the back of blacksmith. Pin, set active. Um, blacksmith, which means I'm looking for an anvil, which is right here, okay. No, I was looking for the right people. Okay, this is kind of strange. Um, that's not the blacksmith. This is the blacksmith. I remember reading in the guide that it was like outside or something. Maybe I'm just wrong. Hang on. Uh, you'll have to speak to Jeremy for all your civil related inquiries. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, hello there, you got hmm, a whole lot of sickles, I'm afraid. I'm also afraid of going into the mine to dig for ore, which is why we're out of sickles. I heard some knocking, so I got straight out of there. But tell you what, here's the key to the mine. If you're brave enough to get your own ore, pop back into the smithy and I'll show you how to make your own sickle. Goddesses go with you, because I sure aren't. Find a matching padlock. Blue. Okay, oh, so I was right about the whole needing a key thing. Wow. What do you know? Hello, sir. What's that you say? Will I drown, ma'am? Will I, will I? My ma'am passed away years ago. Oh, you're from Willowdown Farm, never heard of it. All right, how are you? Bit hungry, oh, you have an apple. Acceptable, hmm, bye. Oh, secrets. Okay, fine. You're not wrong. Um, okay. You know what? X, send home. That clearly didn't work. Oh, he's returning home. Never mind. All right, is this? Oh, that worked incredibly quickly. Um, Frick. Uh, I for inventory. <laughs> Pickaxe. Let's bring that to two. And then lantern to three. Um, I don't have a weapon, so I'm hoping the pickaxe will suffice. Um, wow, okay, this is actually kind of scary. <laughs> I like how they, they, they've maintained the rain though. That's nice. Oh. I'm in a new place. Cabbage looks and tastes so dull, but it doesn't make half, but it doesn't half make you pull. <laughs> I'm so confused now. <laughs> All right, let's, I wanna get this sickle. I've got about, when did I pass out last time? Like 10 PM? Okay, this looks mineable. Yeah. Tin ore, all mine. Okay, how much do I need? There's no dur durability on the items, which I love. They'll probably get to that eventually. Oh, the lantern follows the mouse. Makes so much sense. Put an apple in fairy rings and rot. 
and rot it will like the darkest things. Okay, so if I ever need to rot an apple, I assume I do that. Um, I'm a fun guy. <laughs> the classic pun. <laughs> classic. Um, yeah, I don't. I still have mixed feelings about item durability in, in video games. I'm not entirely certain why, but. I don't know, so, so, so I think in, in some games it's 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 a good thing. But in some games it's like, really? <laughs> it's just annoying. The good folk of the Vale allowed the miner the deep stone to work in our tin mines. The knocking started. Just me and the knockers. I stay here trying to mine the ores as my family needs the brass. Yeah, it'd make tin pretty valuable. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Got that. If you find these notes, please tell my wife, Patty. Did that show up in my quests? Because I'm going to forget. Um, anyway, let's... This is not the exit I want, is it? Burial grounds. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, let's let's get on out of here. If I find a patty, I'll let her know. But I can't make any promises. Um... I do like I do like the lore of how many people there are. It's just overwhelming at first. Um, if I remember correctly, like Stardew Valley, I should not keep comparing this game to that. Actually, it's not really fair. Can I? No, I don't. Okay. Um, I, I I do like how many like characters there are in this game that you can like get to know because it opens up a lot of freedom with it. Um, I don't know why a bit of rain hurt nobody except witches. <laughs> hey, that's what I say. Just, Tis merely sky water, my friends. Um, come up on the 20 minute mark. I'm gonna definitely cut it off sooner rather than later just because I feel pretty low energy, but I wanted to play some concede. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Frick, I'm so lost. Oh, exactly the wrong direction. Good job, Mark. <laughs> um, I should be able to get a sickle before I pass out. Right? Or do I pass out when the dandelions run out? That's the question of the day. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, wow. Hey, oh, nice. Um, oh, frick, it's closed. <sighs> That's unfortunate. All right, we'll, we'll go back, I guess. Um, we'll summon the pig. Ah, uh, it sucks. Six sickle? Nah. Um, wow, really low energy. I thought this would bring me up a little bit, but it's all right. Um, yeah, I'll look at the guide again before I record the next episode, which I'll probably do, because this is going up Thursday, I believe. So I'll probably do this the day, uh, or pretty, I don't know, way before next Thursday. Um, But yeah, I, I'm, I'm slowly getting into it. I, I'm like slowly understanding the whole loud sound in the background, whoops. Um, narrative of everything, I should say. Um, which is, I'm enjoying it. I think it, it's just tough being in early access, I think is the main, big thing. The veil full of decent salt, you can only do with all the cats. Nice, all right, let's go ahead and sit down to sleep. You'll sleep until 6 a.m. if you accept it. Yeah, that's fine. It's kind of nice you can fast forward to any point in the day. I like that. Um, zero new tasks. Oh, whoops. Nice um, for completing twig task. Today's an ordinary day, really. Just like, have you been to the notice board in the village? Stop at the good store. It's worth checking there. Um, while you're down there, it's pig auction day. We can't afford a new pig, but why don't you nip down to the auction stall and we can get some experience of them. Okay, so okay, Ooh, we're kind of sleeping. What is it? Read the notice board. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll we'll get the sigil, and we'll wrap it up. Um, something's already growing. Oh right, because I planted carrots. Nice. I like that little progress bar, and the water level. It's, I'm I'm a fan of that. It's not very subtle, but I think it does the job well. 
Ugh. Blacksmiths are open early, right? Okay, um... Are you Patty? No. But you are nice. Ha 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 ha, funny. Not even... Wait, no, I'm not even in the village yet. <laughs> um, I wonder... <clears throat> I don't know exactly when the prologue ends, but I'm excited to be done with it, because... I mean, it's confusing, sure, but... Frank, when is it? Um, okay, well, I'll check the notice board in the meantime. I could have slept a little later. <clears throat> Read the notice board in the village. Yeah, done. Cool, great. Big request, item wanted. Want some milk. Pear and apples. <clears throat> oh, so this is how you do friendship. This is the main thing. John Bowes after the following. 37 pears. Five brass. Hugs are fine, but the sort of gift wouldn't go amiss. Urgent will it on. Okay, well, couldn't really cancel that one. Pat Cow. All right, all right, and we're good. So I talked to a few people, gave some apples. Something I've always wondered, right, is that, oh, let's just do this. I'll drop an anvil on my toe. Here you are. There's somewhere in the kitchen, so I'm gonna. <laughs> Here you are, alive and well, with a pocket full of ore. You've earned a lesson in the noble art of smithing, that's for sure. Get a hold of the chain on that forge and we'll get started. Oh, wait, I'm doing this? Oh, God. Oh. This? The anvil? This? Oh, here. Let's begin your smithing apprenticeship. Start by selecting an ore and a mold. You'll only have tin and sickle mold. There are many more materials and molds out there to create anything, so. Great. Select ore. Tin. Tin. Ooh. I have a, I have a two star thing. Okay. I just pressed E twice. Working on tin sickle. Uh now you need to cool it. I just clicked. Hold on the left mouse button to punch the sickle in and let go when you see the arrow hit the target line. It moves fast to be ready. Pretty good. All right, could have been better. Set your flexibility in the forge. Hold left mouse button to improve flexibility. The more flexibility you need to be when it comes to the anvil. To improve flexibility, okay. Yoink, oh, that was all right. I need to hammer the sickle out on the old oh, when the hammer passes over a target to hit it. Having higher flexibility in the previous four stage means a slower moving hammer. You should be seeing your durability right. Oh, okay. So there is durability in this game. Accurate strikes are key. Okay, that was alright. Now grind the item to sharpen it. Hold left mouse button to start the grinding process and let go to stop the markers in the line. One for each side to try to be accurate on both. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see the blue one. Ugh, whatever. Love and you learn. I have more in, of everything, so great. Okay, I, I like that. So one thing I did realize, I hit K, skill tree. Totally forgot about this. Um, this is good to, oh, that looks, that's a sick silhouette. Something in character design that I've been reading up about is how important the silhouette is. Now that's cool. Um, anyway, um, cooking and fishing we kind of have, but it gives you, uh, it's a skill tree, but it's, it's a nice skill tree. <laughs> um, this looks cool. Seek out Chogon. All right. Um, that's kind of cool that you get to do it yourself. Anyway, what I was saying before was when I was waiting, and I'll, I don't know, it's right at the end of the, I don't know if I'm cutting your time lasting, but whatever. The the AI, the NPCs, I should say, not AI, came over to the sign and turned it on, right? And I've wondered this in many games, but programmatically, how do you manage that? Like, I guess you would have predetermined paths for each NPC, right? And then when you walk into an area, you say, what, you know, what time is it? Where should each of these people be? And you put them there and then you start rendering their behavior or whatever. <sighs> I don't know. It just seems like a lot of work, but uh, maybe there's an easier way, but that's the only thing that comes to mind. Um, anyway, let's give our uncle a little hug and then. Hello. I'll give him an apple. 
You remember my birthday? Thank you. I heard 13th winter was the day Pat Cow was born. Alright. Um, do I have to complete the water one crops that need to grow? Oh. Yikes. Um, is that? That's watering them, right? Alright, cool. Um, want to hear about that dream I had? It's a bit fuzzy now, but I was walking through the woods and this voice kept talking to me. I think it said I was going to live forever. Isn't that silly? It is a little silly. Living forever would suck, if I'm being honest with you. Now, there's time left in the day, <clears throat> but I kind of want to wrap it up. Um, now that I have my, wait, now that I have my sickle, what do I do with it? Maybe that's what's going on here. Uh, nicely done, made it yourself. That's very impressive work. Never mind. <laughs> Smithing is hard work, but can build up your muscles for sure. I prefer the smells of the farm. Pig muck over pig iron for sure. Told me nothing. Um, it would be nice if there was like, um, oh, maybe the pickaxe does have durability. I just don't know it. If there's like a future, like you knew where you were going, right? It's very step-by-step, -step, which is, you know, nice in many regards, but... Um... Use a tin bucket, don't use the poop bucket. It's nice that the pig follows you around. Love that. Uh, da, da, da. What do I, like, what, what am I supposed to do with the sickle? Okay, so you use a sickle to harvest a crop and it gives you more of it. That's pretty straightforward. I like that. I was like looking for like tall grass and stuff. Um, so I should probably start filling out these plots with like seeds and stuff then. Wasn't there also like a task to not to be mistaken for fill the trough. Um, get a tin bucket using a fresh water source. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I can't get you. That's clever. Then hold the bucket and pour it into the trough. Easy peasy pigsy drinky. The I'm sorry, did I read that right? Easy peasy pigsy drinky. Okay, I did. Um, maybe it doesn't want food. Maybe it wants water. I'm use a wooden bucket to scoop the poo. Completed task, fill water trough. And let's go ahead and get the crappy bucket. Um, could have sworn I had a, baha, containers. A little funky how much categorization they have, but um, the wooden bucket can't collect that. Where's the pool? Is there no pool? Okay, well. Is that what this says? Yeah. All right, yeah. So we'll, we'll wrap up there. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I guess next part, I don't know what we'll do. I'll read the guide and see what's next. Um, but we will get into stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I'll sleep until 6 a.m. Just so I save. And we'll pick up from there. So thanks yet again. <laughs> Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.